I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. And uh, basically, I'm going to do a word of the day. And the word of the day today is going to be, um, well, the root word is port. But then uh, we're going to touch into the word portal, which they all go into the same uh, the same definition, you know, along the lines of uh, the point I'm trying to convey. Now, the word portal, it says uh, gate, gateway from French portal gate and directly from medieval Latin uh, portale, right? Uh, city gate porch from uh, noodle or portalis of a gate, Latin porta, meaning gate, which that's ultimately the same thing as the word port as well, you know. Um, I just want to uh, put in a side note too that the word uh, in Spanish for door, you know, is a uh, porta. All right, when you say the word uh, door in Spanish is porta. Right or, or or matter of fact, yes, the spirit just hit me with like the word Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico means a rich port. All right. Now it says here. I want to just get the point. It says right here, Latin porta, gate, door, passage. All right, passage. Okay. Uh, and then you have another word here. It says experience, which this is a, uh, another good one. I want to highlight. You know, experienced. All right, because the point is of this uh, lesson of me bringing this word out and what I was thinking about is that, you know, through this journey that we that we uh, take, you know, through this journey that we take place, you know, there's different doors to different to different aspects in this life. You know, I, I think I mentioned this before in, in the uh, in a previous video, you know. And uh, basically, what happens is is that, you know, the scriptures talk about the straight gate, all right? That's what it all boils down to. Now, the straight gate is the gate, the way to go. But as we know in the scriptures, what it talks about is what? That as we go to the straight gate, through the straight gate, there's other uh, uh, obstacles, which those are different gates, man. You know, those are different portals, if you will. All right. So we it, we got to do our best to stay on the straight gate, you know, because mess around and open up doors that, you know, that you ain't ready for. You know, and that goes along too with brothers knowing how to play your part, because when you don't play your part. It does what it, it, you, you can get jacked up. You get hemmed up in the spirit, man. I want to bring the scripture out. This is uh, second Ezra chapter seven. You know, uh, this is verse six. It says, there is also another thing. A city is built and set upon a broad field and is full of good of all good things. Right. Because, hey, man, we here in this world and there's many temptations in this world, man. There's many so-called good things in this world that we can that can uh, uh, absorb us and take us away from the main task. And that's why we constantly pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that what? That he keep us on the straight gate, man. Because we can't do nothing without Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know? Continuing on, it says, uh, The entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall. Like as if there were fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water. See? And, and, and man, that's the point right there, man. It's, it's many, many ways for us to, you know, um, to fall, man. You know, there's many different doors that we can open in this world that that take us away from this knowledge, man. So that's why we got to, you know, basically set our steps right and basically do the right thing, man. You know, and keep our eyes on the path, on, on the prize, if you will. This is uh, <clears throat> verse 8. And one only path between them both. See, there's only one path. Even between the fire and the water. So small that there could be... So small... That there could be but one man go there at once. If this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? Right. So we're going to be tried. We're going to go. We, we're actually going to go through different portals, if you will. We're going to go through different aspects in this maze that we call life, you know. But guess what? We're going to have to 
uh, 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 basically, how would you say, uh, we got to become the victors, you know? We go in these doors. You see in certain movies, man, you go in certain, like, yeah, door number one, you got this, and door number two, you got this, door number three, you got this, and you wind up picking a door, you know, and you go through a door that you really ain't prepared for, but guess what? That's why the scripture says what? There's such have, uh, such, such temptation. Uh, let me just get it. Right. This is uh first Corinthians chapter 10. Right. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. They have no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. Right. So, so everything that we go through is going to be uh, uh, something that another brother would be going through. Right. But the most high is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. See, it doesn't matter what doors we go through it's, as long as you're of the elect. If you're not of, a, of the elect, then those doors is going to take you away. Those portals is going to take you away, man. You know. So, hey, man, that's that's the point I wanted to bring on that. You know, now I got another scripture. You know, this is John 10 and 1. It says, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. Right, because there's only one way to do this knowledge. Like that scripture in 2 uh, Ezra, the 7th chapter said, there's only one, there's only one door, man. All right. There's, no, there's, there's not many doors. And that goes into, you know, uh, uh, you know, the guys now talking about, you know, uh, uh, um, there's different portions of the spirit, which there is different portions, but all, all along the same doctrine, meaning you can have a different doctrine and and uh, uh, be of the elect. That, that's not what this that's not what the scriptures are saying. It says verily, verily, I mean, truly, truly, I say unto you, he that entered not by the door into the into the sheepfold, but climb up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. Man, you can't do this thing your own way, you know? All we can do is pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai that he direct our paths. That's it, man. And have faith that he'll guide us and get us out of whatever uh, trials and tribulations we go through. That's all we can do, man. You know? But that's why the second verse says what? But he that entereth by the door is the shepherd of the sheep, right? To him, the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, right? See, we're sheep in this thing, man. You know, we we we're uh, uh we're docile, if you will, man. The word docile means ready to learn, man. All right, and he calleth his own sheep by name and leadeth them out. Right. And when he put forth his own sheep, he go before them and the sheep follow him for the, for they know his voice. Yeah, man. Hey, man, whether through trials and tribulations, you're going to hear the Lord's voice, man. You're going to hear the Lord's voice. And it's what's the Lord's voice. Ultimately, these scriptures, this doctrine, man, the doctrine is going to uh, teach you. The doctrine, the doctrine is going to be the thing that comes to your mind and be like, look, man, I ain't supposed to be doing X, Y, and Z. You know? It says, and a stranger will not follow, but will will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. Right. And Apostle Ramla just brought up a good example how, you know, um, uh, Samuel was in the house of Eli, and Samuel, when he was uh uh uh, uh when he first heard the voice of the Lord. He went to us. He went to uh, Eli and thought it was him calling him. And then uh, Eli basically told Samuel, said, you, you know what? You know, uh, next time you hear, just say, here I am, Lord. Right. Because he was hearing the, the, the voice of the Lord, man. And mind you, someone had to tell him what the voice of the Lord was. He didn't just get it on his own. Why? Because there's only one way through this thing, man. You know, there's only one way. Now, I got another scripture. This is Matthew chapter 7, verse 13. Enter ye at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there there be which go in go in uh there eat. Right? Let me get the uh, whole verse. Matter of fact, I'm gonna pull it out of my scriptures. 
Right? See, again, it's talking about enter ye at the straight gate, man, the path of difficulty, man. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Right. Because, you can, again, you can't do this your own way, man. When temptation before you, the, the way to go ain't your way. All right? That's why the scripture says the heart is deceit, deceitful before uh, above all things. You know, because when you want to do things your way, you're going to fail, man. You're going to fail, man. That's why we're in a predicament, predicament that we're in today. All right. Me being as the nation of Israel, we're in the predicament that we're in today because Israel always wanted to do it their way. All right. They wanted to go in a door that they want to go to go through, man. Here it is. Uh, uh, the Lord is telling you. The Lord is telling you, look, man, you go through this door, you're going to get everlasting life, man. You know, you're going to get you're going to get all the fruit, all the wine, all the strong drink, all the women that you want, man. You're going to get everything that you want. But guess what? It's, look, man, you got to go through this uh, tr trials and tribulations first. It's like the blue pill and the red pill, you know. But then you got then you got the, the, the broad gate. You got another door where the Lord said, look, man, you could choose this door as well. You choose this door, this is going to be, man, you're going to get the wine, you're going to get the woman, you're going to get this, you're going to get that. You know, you ain't going to have to work for it. You know? A matter of fact, that reminds me of Matthew, the fourth chapter, because that's what how Satan tempted Yahushai. When he told Yahushai, he said, look, he brought him up to the top of the mountain. He said, look, you see all the all kingdoms, I will put all these kingdoms in subjection to you. Basically, it was the easy way out, man. That was, that was Satan... Tempting the Lord with different portals, if you will, being that's the word of the day, you know, let me get this Matthew chapter seven. Uh, let me see. Where... Right. See, the, see, see, that's the spirit, because in my uh, I have a red letter Bible and in the heading of this um, passage, if you will, it says two ways of life. Right. And verse 13 says, enter ye in at the straight gate for wide is the gate. And broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many there be which go and and there eat, right? Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it, right? See, few be there that find it, man. Because the scriptures talk about uh, many are called, but few are chosen. Because at the end of the day, it matters on if you're chosen or not, whether or not you're gonna pass through these obstacles man at the end of the day man i will always stress this man it's about the fear of the lord man if you fear the lord man you're gonna constantly call on him to guide your steps plain and simple man you ain't gonna do it your way you ain't gonna want to do it your way all right and i'm gonna go to luke 13 let me go to my scriptures I guess another part of this lesson is yo, don't don't try to do it your way, man. Because you try to do it your way, to, uh, uh, believe you me, the Lord will show you that he ain't going to do it your way. Again, I'm going to use that example again. Jonah. Jonah wanted to do it his way, and look how he wound up. You ask Jonah right now, if he was sitting next to you, yo, Jonah, which way you would have did it? Jonah would be like, nah, I would have went, went, went straight to Nineveh, chief. All right? So this is Luke chapter 13. Uh... Verse 24. I'm sorry, I'm in Luke 12. Luke 12. I'm going to start at verse 22. And he went through the cities and villages, teaching and journeying toward Jerusalem. Then said one unto him, Lord, are there few that be saved? And he said unto them, Strive to enter at the straight gate. See, strive to enter at the straight gate. This, uh, sh the word strive means to fight. Because at the end of the day, this is a fight. Alright? It's a spiritual fight at, at that. The scripture says what? Strive for the truth unto death and the Lord shall fight for thee. See? You know? When you do your part, the Lord going to guide you, man. At the end of the day. It says, I say unto you, will... I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. I'm sorry. I say unto you, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. When once the master of the house is risen up 
and have shut the door. See, that's another one. And you begin to stand without and not and to knock at the door saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us. And he shall answer and say unto you, I know you not when she are. See, that's a scary thing, man. That's why we got to do our best to, you know, do the right thing by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh one way or another. I believe the answer to that is pr through prayer, begging the Lord to guide your steps. At the end of the day, no matter how you slice it, man, hey, ask Yahweh Hashem Yahweh to guide your steps. That's the that's the only way to to, to pass through these portals, if you will. All right. Continuing on, it says, uh, then shall ye begin to say, we have eaten and drunk in thy presence, and thou hast straight taught, thou hast taught in our streets. But he shall say, I tell you, I know you not, whence ye are, depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. See, because it ain't all about, you know, the uh, uh, going out in the streets and teaching. It ain't all about that. You know, it, it's really about what you're doing. Uh, uh, why you at home? That's why the scripture says this. This is uh, this is uh, Philippians chapter four. I'm sorry, chapter two it says, "Wherefore, my beloved, uh, Philippians chapter two, verse twelve. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only. See, when it's when the, when the cameras is on in front of all the brothers, right? But now much more in my absence." Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. See, that's why I said, man, the only way you can get through this is through the fear of the Lord. That's the only way, man. That's the only way we're going to get through the, through that straight gate, man. You know, it's the only way, man. Going back, it says, uh, it says, but um, this is uh, Luke 13, 27. But he shall say, I tell you, I know you, you not whence ye are. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. Right, because you wanted to do your own way, although you was in front of brothers looking all nice. All right, continuing on. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth when ye shall see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all the prophets in the kingdom of the Most High. That's reincarnation, because the kingdom is going to be played out on earth. It says, and you yourselves thrust out. See, you ain't going to be amongst the, the, the heads at the gate. You know, and they shall come from the east and from the west and from the north and from the south and shall sit down in the kingdom of the most high. And behold, there are there are last which shall be first and there are first which shall be last. Right. Because we got to take L's in this society, man. You know, you got to take L's in this society. The people that are first ain't going to, man, they ain't going to, they ain't going to get it, man. They're not going to be the people, the people that are exalted in this world are not going to be the people at the heads of the gate in the, in the, uh, in the kingdom to come. All right. And with that, I want to say all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect out there. What are you doing?